Hi guys, have you heard about Sense Around? So, since the invention of recorded audio, people have been hard at work improving sound quality and improving the systems we have for recording and reproducing audio. Today I figured we could talk about an interesting one in film audio history, and that's Sense Around. So, what is Sense Around? Well, back in 1974, Universal Studios made a movie called Earthquake. Now, specifically for Earthquake, Universal Studios teamed up with loudspeaker manufacturer Serwin Vega to create Sense Around. The whole idea was to create a more immersive experience, giving the viewer the feeling of being in something like an earthquake by creating a discrete low frequency effects audio channel. You might sometimes see an audio channel like this being abbreviated as an LFE channel. This initial rollout of Sense Around caused a boom in awareness about low end sound reproduction and some people argue that it spurred the increase in subwoofer designs and subsequently sales that occurred throughout the late 70s and into the 80s. But how did Sense Around work? Well, it used control tones that were printed onto optical film tracks to trigger a pseudo-random noise. This means that there was a sound generator that created a pseudo-random sound that ranged between 17 hertz and 120 hertz. At the time, anything below 40 hertz actually couldn't be reproduced using the traditional audio track used for films, so Sense Around actually didn't print this low-end information onto any audio track. Most theaters at the time didn't have any subs, so the owners had to often purchase or rent a subsystem, and they often had to remove seats from in front of their theater in order to set up the gear involved in showing a film and sense around. Sense Around was used in Earthquake and then used in a few more subsequent films, including Tora Tora Tora, which was a movie about the Pearl Harbor attack, Roller Coaster, which included a terrorist bombing on a roller coaster, and a few others. It was basically used for films that had some sort of big rumbling or explosion type of feeling that the creators wanted to recreate in theater. It was fairly short-lived though, and after a few films, it was never used again, possibly due to advances in technology. Dolby apparently owns the last two original Sense Around control boxes, and they only use them for revival screenings on occasion. So that's the lowdown on Sense Around. Now you know a bit about the origins of subs in film. I hope you like this video and please let me know what you think in the comments below. For today's question, I wanna know, what is your favorite revolutionary thing from audio history? Please leave your answers in the comments below. Also, please check out the link to my Patreon in the description below. It would mean a lot to me and every little bit helps as I continue to make these videos. So thanks guys. As usual, if you like this video, please hit the little like button, share the video, or subscribe to my channel. I'll be coming out with new videos every other Wednesday and thanks for watching. <laughs>